All right, so Liesl and I are both going to be doing a free to attend webinar coming up where um, like she is going to be giving the overall principles of her upcoming paid program. And I'm going to be doing the same with my paid program of overcoming uh, overarching principles. And, and Liesl, you're going to do some tapping exercises, give some people, uh, give people an experience of what the paid program is like. So I think it's a great idea to as a uh, intro to the to a paid program and in both our cases our paid program participants are going to be encouraged to watch or, or attend this one uh, as a great overview of the you know framework basically so um, we were just talking about how you know is it okay authentic to do selling of the paid program during this free webinar <clears throat> and um, my dog buddy and um, never miss a chance. <laughs> so, um, and you were saying, Liesl, that you were planning to do about 10 minutes talking about the paid program at the end of your 90 minute webinar, right? And that's essentially 10% of the webinar's time. And I have always said 10% of a free webinar, you know, selling a paid program that's connected to it is not, is totally acceptable because most free webinars that do this, they don't do 10% time. They do at the minimum 33% time, minimum, <clears throat> which is what I used to teach. <laughs> I was like 2000 and let's see, I started doing that in 2010, 2009, really through 2013. I was, my most popular program, one of my most popular was called the webinar method. And people signed up to learn how to sell do a high converting webinar. And literally I was teaching this stuff. And that's just what I taught. I said, basically a third of the time. And, and by the way, it's I, either, either I learned from the same people or some people took what I, because I, you know, I taught some colleagues to this and this kind of spread the word. But a third of the time, you're supposed to build up your credibility you know, by talk, talking about your story and, and also some client testimonials coming, you know, they show up on the call. Ideally, they show up on the call and say how great you are. And then a third of the time you do myth busting content. Like, you know, you thought that solving this problem was going to be about this, but no, it's actually, you need to learn this and you, you, you need to practice this and you need to figure that out. And it's like, people go, oh, wow, I didn't know that. But of course that, that myth busting content was all meant to seed the paid program like they would not be satisfied you know now that they know what they don't that what they need it's like oh this is why the paid program and then the third final third is talking about how great the paid program is. so that's not what you i are doing in this coming up webinar no right. well, we are sense. actually <laughs> at least shaking her head she's like yeah oh i i get it smh shaking my head um so what we're doing is 90 minutes, we're actually giving um, teaching that people will go away and go, wow, I could use this. Like, this is something that's useful for me that, okay, I've just shifted my mindset on this. Even if I don't work in the paid program, I could, this is useful to me. That's the, that's the um, litmus test, I guess. It's like, do, am I just seeding a FOMO experience? you're missing out is that as all we're doing no we're not we're, we're we are i'm expecting i really am that the, the majority of those who attend my free webinar aren't going to sign up for my year-long program i mean i know in your case it's not year-long how, how long is your program oh no three months three months so it's thing. so it, it's you're probably going to get a higher sign up rate than i do because um you know i like i said this the free going from free to a year long is a it's quite a gap. It's quite a, quite a leap. And people have to be like, oh, I'm, you know, it's almost like they, they almost have to be ready for the year long experience in my case. And they're just joining this intro as a confirmation, right. which in, to be honest, I think that's really the best selling experience is they read a sales page uh, already liking you and already interested in the program. And they're just kind of confirming some details. Like they maybe have seen the announcement about the program on social media or on the newsletter. And even just a few lines are like, I'm probably interested in this. And they're going, they're like, yes, I am interested in this. And same thing when they come to your, so question Lisa for you, uh, like I'm launching my paid program even before I announce the free webinar. 
Okay. So that might be a little different than how than the sequence of what you're doing because you're you're focused on launching the free webinar. And then later you're going to launch the paper round. Yes. Right. So that was your question when we before we started recording and me going off on this long tangent is should you mention the paid program when you are marketing the free webinar? Yes. So in my opinion, I think it would be beneficial to do so because, well, then the question is, how do we do it? Like, how much do we talk about the paid program within the sales page of the free webinar? And, um, I, the way I'm doing it is I'm going to say, uh, you know, of course, talking about the, the free webinar. And this is, this in fact, is a required introduction to my year-long TLC program. For those who are interested, I highly recommend you attend this. But you don't have to sign up for the year-long program to attend this. All right, that's nice. Yes. Something like that. So you could say for those who are interested in the three month program, this intro is highly encouraged because it gives you the great framework, but you can benefit a lot from this experience, even if you don't join the three, per three month program. Anyway, that's how I would say it. Um, I know a lot of people would just say, no, 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 don't even mention the paid program they're not going to mind after 80 minutes of experiencing your teaching and exercises to, to hear about. And I, I agree. That's probably true also, you know, but I know for me, it makes me feel more comfortable <laughs> that I gave them at least a heads up that I'm going to do a little bit of selling at the end of it. So, right. And, and, um, and, or the other way of doing it is to, again, not mention it on the sales page of the free webinar, and at the start of the webinar, you could say, hey, so great to see everyone here. Uh, I know some of you might be joining my three-month program. Uh, that's like an extend, extended version of this. Um, and I'll talk about that at the end. But even those who aren't, you're going to, my ex ex expectations, you're going to benefit a lot from today's session. Right. So that's how some people do it. Okay. Yeah, I've heard that done. It's like I was taught a long time ago. It, you set up the expectation. So then at yeah. the end, you can take it right now as promised. <laughs> no, no, as promised. You know, the, I know you were looking for this. <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> but, 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 but just to add, complete this discussion, it is true that people who have a good experience with your free webinar are interested in what else you offer. It's not like, wow, what a great free webinar. I hope I never see you again. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like, I, 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 what a great webinar. I'm curious what else you offer. I hope it's affordable for me, you know? Yeah. That's a lovely frame to keep in mind when I prepare this is, yeah. is for that people to have that experience. It is. It's true. And it's really not just, not just us somehow tricking ourselves. That's the actual experience. I, when I've been on a free webinar, I'm like, well, this is not a, a nonprofit, <laughs> you know, like, they just do these things or even nonprofits, of course, they're going to ask for, I would, I would be shocked if they didn't ask for a donation. <laughs> even if I went to a nonprofit webinar, I would be shocked if they didn't ask for a donation. I would expect them to ask for a donation. I would hope that I would give something back. Right. But for a for-profit for business, uh, I hope, I mean, I would expect that they're going to tell me something on how to work more with them. Right. Yeah. So that's great. I think most people have that expectation. Yeah. Yeah. It probably yeah. for, for, for better or worse, because marketers have ruined it. <laughs> Just like marketers ruin everything. <laughs> <laughs> it's like poor marketers. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Uh, okay. Any, anything else George, on this, Lisa? Great. I was just thinking about the price as well, because I've already been thinking this thing through with there's only so few people because I want six people max because it's my first experience running it. I don't want to feel overwhelmed. I want to be comfortable and calm while I do it. And I know I can manage six people very comfortably. For and the so, free webinar? No, no, no. For, no, the, for, the, for the paid for the program. program. Yeah, yes, yeah. for the paid program. And so you may have thinking, six people per cohort, maybe. Who knows? Yes, yes. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I was thinking about the maybe two hundred dollars for the yeah. six because usually my yeah. things are much, much more more affordable than that. 
Yeah, let me actually, um, I'll, I'll stop the recording here for the, that discussion and we'll continue the pricing one.